Hello and welcome to Sovereign LPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're doing a quick guide into all the ins and outs of the trading post. I was getting a lot of questions with regards to how to actually put buy orders and sell orders and that sort of thing. So I thought I'd do a quick guide on how to do all that and get everything that you need to know about the trading post done and sorted. I suppose the easiest way to do this is just to get into the actual trading post itself. Now the trading post you will be able to see on the mini map, which is the scales over here. It just comes up in every town. You have one in every single town. Now one thing you need to learn from the beginning is each of these trading posts are separate in and of themselves so like they'll be selling in here in this trading post you'll be selling in this uh, the trading post in the say for instance the starting town that we're in right now um there will be a trading post in each of them and you can sell to each of those trading posts but that's only with the actual resources that you have in those towns so if you go inside of the box over here you go inside of this uh the storage shed all the items in here you'll be able to sell in the trading post in that town but you can however use the trading post so all these items that will pop up when we go inside and i'll show you to do the buy orders and sell orders in the trading post over here and it changes it doesn't always look like this as it levels up and upgrades in the town they will grow up and up and up and they will turn into like different looking buildings you'll have like it'll turn into like a um, kind of like a upgraded marketplace and then it'll be a building with a shop front and etc etc at the moment it's just a little fruit vendor stall so what we're talking about first is the buying now each individual item that you have will be in different categories now you have weapons with one had weapons etc and you can go in and actually select anything that you want particular so you go into say for instance uh, i'm a healer so i'll go into magical weapons and we'll go into life staffs and then you'll have every single tier of life staff that's available now some of these on the right hand side you'll see that there's none available orders in all settlements so up in the right hand side you go orders from you can do the drop down and you can click off all settlements and if you're in the settlement that you're in right now it will just show up in in the settlement that you are in currently so be able to go in there and you'll be able to buy these ones and you'll be able to pick them up in this air settlement itself if you go in and click all settlements and you'll find the cheapest of all of them that will pop up in uh, all of the different areas these will actually when you buy them for example i could buy this now um for one thing yes i think it might actually be better than the one i've got by a significant amount so we're gonna buy that now i'll click buy now and that's gonna pop up straight into my bag it's in my inventory because i bought it in this town so we place that bind item blah 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 we got that on us now i'm gonna do a hell of a lot more damage that's gonna do really well for me leveling up i haven't had as much time to level up at the moment but i am doing a few run a full run through of the main story quest uh as we're playing along if you want to check that out i'll leave a link for that at the first episode down in the description for you in a pinned comment but we're getting back to this so we're going into the orders if you say for instance we've got a cutlass keys for example you've got gold ore and stuff in here you can find exactly what you want you can use the search bar you can go up here and just write i don't know let's check in iron ore i'm not really using iron ore right now but you can see in cutlass keys there is only a couple available it's like 800 available selling at four one and if you go and take that out and we go to eden grove for example there's no set orders for iron ore there at all so you can kind of jump through and find the th different areas different areas where you may be able to sell the iron ore that people may be needing it in certain areas and they don't want to travel all the way to certain places etc so i'm just going to try and find one where it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to buy some stuff here so we're going to go in let's try just try week four have you got any we've got 1.15 we'll just buy one so we'll buy that one now and it will actually pop up directly into our inventory so you can buy from anywhere in the game you can buy from anywhere in the game any settlement you can it'll go straight into your inventory if you have the space so there's no issue with having to run anymore backwards and forwards and stuff like that but the only issue you have is when you go into the selling so you only have the items that are available in the town that you're currently in now that i don't think that has changed from the original base game please let me know down below if that's not the case anymore if you can see everything you've got stored everywhere but i only think that in the town you're putting up the trade selling firm is from your inventory and from the storage shed i'm fairly certain that's the case um but you can go in and you can look at place sell orders and place buy orders if you need to buy stuff and you need to sell stuff but you can just sell directly from your inventory and you can try and instead of placing a sell order you'll have a list of what's currently available in everfall wins with monarchs bluff people that are trying to sell these items so you can sell the try to buy these items for a cheaper price now if you see placing a sell order we're currently at one uh, 0.18 so you can drop it down so as you're going in i just 
come out of the bloody air mode then. Where were we on? Age tanning? Yeah. So you're going to sell it for 0.08, which is going to be a hell of a lot less than if you had some patience. You can get an extra 0.1 as a whole. On top of that, if you take your time, so you got 33 there and you've got the place sell order button. Now, this is something that you want to do when you're selling orders. And if you have a bit more patience, you don't need the coins right now. A lot of people will go in, they'll just buy stuff and sell stuff straight willy nilly. And you can save a hell of a lot of coin in the long run if you actually take your time and go in and place sell orders place buy orders so you can buy resources for a lot cheaper than you'd normally buy them for unless obviously you have something that you're crafting right this second and uh, you need some mage tan or whatever to get you need to craft for a guild mate who's rats going to pvp you need to grab it now you can uh, literally just go in and click uh, buy we can go uh where is it let's see if we got the tannin age tannin and you can, in this place here, you can buy them for 0.18 right now. And there's 207 available. You can just buy them that way. But if you want to just set a buy order, I have to go in here and buddy, look for the item. So place a buy order. Now you can put it in here as 0.8, 0.08, which is what's there. But if you want to get it somewhat quicker, because they've got it at that and it's selling at 0.18 right now over here. So you can put that in at like so 0.15. And you want to sell, or you want to be able to buy, I don't know, there's, there's some available at 0.15 right now. There's 2,000. 964 available so you can put this in there and you can click the buy button on this side and then it will place the buy order sometimes it will buy it straight away so they have some for sale or you can have like for instance there's people trying to sell this 5,000 at that and then you go into that one and you can see how many is underneath there but like if you want to get it quickly for a little bit less I don't know, 0.10 so it's just a little bit lower than that price you can get it and place buy we'll just say we want to buy one we'll press confirm and it will pop up the buy order there now we placed the buy order. I don't really need anything to go like to be buying it right now. This was just to use as an example. Now someone can go in now and go into say we need to buy. We need to go tannin. Uh, sorry, sell. We'll go into tannin. And if you like look inside of here, that's my order right there. That's my order right there of 0.10. So someone it's going to be. 0.02 coin over the top of the last one and you can see it's mine because it's got the arrow there but you can then sell directly to that person you can't sell to yourself obviously it's that kind of break the game but you, like it literally will actually let you do that it never used to let you do oh you cannot complete the order created i thought it was about to let me do it because i messed around with the slide there and it actually clicked on sell now but then they'll go in and sell directly to my 0.10 of the sales thing so i can actually just get rid of that like we can get the bio that uncommon are you sure you want to cancel this order yes and there you go so order cancelled will no longer be selling that item but if you wanted to go in and set up a buy order, the easiest way to do this, you can go into the sell tab and it will show you everything that you have. You have to have one of those things to be able to place the sell order or place the buy order. So you can go into course level, you need course level. You go into place buy order. Now you can see all of the buy orders, the current sell orders that are available. All the sell orders are here that are available. This is not a good one because it's actually a higher tier one and these areas are a little bit better. So if you want to say, for instance, the current sell orders are one and you want to sell, you want to buy it for a little bit less. So you can put like 0 0.91 or even 0 0.90 or 0 0.89 and you can go through and actually just try and get it for a little bit cheaper. You can put it out there for three days. Say you wanted to buy 500 of those. You can click on the confirm and then someone would be able to actually do it so the current highest buy order right now is 0.85 which you see on the list on the right hand side on the right hand side over here as low as 0.71 so you can even just overcut it just by a tiny amount and just go 0.01 over the top and then the next person who tries to sell directly to the market to the to the next buy order will come to you first because you are the highest bidder on that so you can actually do that or say for instance there's six there on 0.85 they just chuck it there because they're gonna buy in concession so if there's only five or six but if there's like two thousand you want to just like literally just stick 0.01 on top of that and just undercut it just by a little bit it will sell your order first until someone comes along with a bit more and they'll stick it on there and you, you kind of have to check it in my orders tab so if we go into the my orders tab you currently have your active ones sell orders and buy orders and you got your completed and expired now i cancelled this one so it shows up that we cancelled it but if you go in as we had earlier we had the buy orders now this buy order was cancelled is completed so we had, don't have it in the active anymore now you can go in and cancel these you can have a look at them and then if say for instance you you're a trader by in the game you want to trade a lot more than anything else you just go and grab a resources maybe you enjoy being i don't know a trader in mmos you can go in there and you can craft stuff and you can go in and check your order and see 
see how far up the list because overnight you're probably going to have a load of people say for instance you're on uh, american servers you start farming because you haven't got a day job you've got a night job so you farm in a day and put the sell order up at the like sort of just before your shift starts at night shift now a lot of people are going to come on who are running normal day shift times so when they actually jump on and start grabbing all the stuff they'll you'll you'll be like 10th or 11th down the list so you have to continuously kind of update with the sell and buy orders but if you play it right at the right time when a lot of people come on and they're just first coming on after the say we'll say 6 p.m for shits and giggles say 6 p.m you get on there and you put the sell order on there and it's in the top of the thing you put the buyer order on there and people are running on and they're like they just do a run from say we're running from monarch's bluff we run to everfall they're going to Windswood and they're going back here so they're gonna gather up to this point they're gonna gather up to this point and gather up to this point which is what you should be doing when you're running between the towns you shouldn't always just teleport everywhere Teleporting everywhere is like really not the best idea unless you're like max level, you're not really caring. While you're leveling, you should be running between them and gathering all the resources you can along the way. It's the best way to make money by selling it on the trading post. So that's the buy orders we have up here. You can we taught you how to search everything. We go into the sell orders where you can pick anything that you have in your inventory in the town you're in that's also in the storage shed and you can place sell orders, place buy orders. We've gone through all the items that are currently so you can click all items over here and create a sell item so you can go over here gathering logging axe and you want to go in there and place a buy order for that iron logging axe and you go into this one here so this is all the items that you have so maybe you want to find it easier all the items that you have over here there's also another option that you can have where i don't know if you can do that on this one anymore uh i don't think you can you used to be able to do it but the same as you could do with uh crafting which i'll, I'll do a separate video on the crafting recipes and stuff like that where you can favorite some things so if you don't have to always search there but you can just search and just run in and grab iron ore for example and go in there and grab that press enter click on the resource and you have all of the ones available uh, the, there's a lot here but because obviously it's the earlier zones but like if you click off it's just going to show all the ones that you got in there and it's going to show you the ones in brightwood brimstone sands see we're on a new server so a lot of the places are empty of all the different ores so now's a really good time if you're in an area that's slightly off off the thing you can actually make a little bit of money in certain areas so you can't get iron ore in another area maybe there's star metal in that whole area selling iron ore in that area to speed up things for people and stuff like that is a good way to make and sell some money and then we went through the active spy orders and sell orders and the completed and you're expired and it shows you exactly what you've sold over time etc etc and that's basically the gist of what you can do with the training post there's a lot of things you can there's a lot of things to go more in depth with with the crafting which we'll do a separate video for when you go into crafting and how to be better to find out what weapons are selling for more maybe there's a certain weapon that's on the like uh you can search it for it specifically when you find out you go on and someone one of your favorite youtubers just created a video where you basically are going to be buying uh looking for a build that build will then get really famous a lot of people want to do that build then you see what weapons and armors have been crafted for that build and you can go in there and craft that armor and you stick a load on the thing and people will go in there and they'll buy it it's one of the things that sort of when a meta comes along you want to be one of the first people to jump in there and craft the items and sell it to it there'll be legendary weapons and stuff like that that are available that you can that will be probably taken over but a lot of the stuff is still player crafted so it's a good way of doing it and also another good way if you're going to be using trading is to use the actual trade chat itself so you can go into enter chat and we can go into the trade chat for example there'll be people trying to sell stuff no one's crafting gear this early because they're doing it i remember them being 10k blah 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 uh so you can they'll be talking about what selling want to sell golden scarab fire crystal core so you can find and speak to people and get stuff for cheaper maybe you want to do something that like people are already at the max level like it's insane it's only been a couple of days and i've been just taking my time doing the main story quest and just enjoying the story at the moment that's why i'm a bit lagging behind on the level front but yeah that's everything for the trading post let me know if it's something you'd like to see more of with all the different guides we do the basics guys and we'll go along as we progress through the game we'll do more and more guides and more in-depth guides and more advanced guys let me know in the comments if this is something that you enjoy remember to like and sub for all your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chat scams